Hey, what's happening everyone? Brian coming to you from the bench tonight. And I wanted to go over and continue the series of You Bought a Printer, Now What? So I, I just printed out uh, this Can-Am 77 Pontiac Can-Am yesterday. I showed you guys a quick uh, blurb on it. I wanted you guys to see how clean this was. This was printed at a 37% angle. So it has no, no uh, lines on the top. No topography, as they call it. And I wanted to show you a couple build plates that I printed just to show you the difference. Okay, this one's flat, and you can see the topography in the hood. This one was at an angle, and you see that there is no topography. Again, 37% angled up. And you see all the shiny wetness on the side? That is from your wash station not being clean enough and the IPA just not cleaning it off uh, as well. So a couple things that I wanted to go over in this video is, one, I keep getting asked what resin I use. It's ABS-like 3.0 polymer, uh, photopolymer resin. I get the gray. Um, this is like $16.55 on uh, Amazon. It's delivered. Um, I mean, it comes in a little box like this, so you can see what it is. Uh, this is the way Amazon delivers it. Um, but it's $16.55, and I'll put a link down below so you guys can go right to it. Uh, I've been using the ABS Lite 2.0 uh, for a long time, and the 3.0 when it came out, I've liked it as well. The ABS Lite has the, a little, the 3.0 has a little bit higher a heat tolerance and also a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so I like that in the resin quality to where it's not so brittle. The uh, the Andre's files uh, that just came out, he, he did the 77 Pontiac uh, two-door and he did the Pontiac Can-Am. And the Can-Am, uh, so you guys do know, on a Colt and on a CG Trader, both have when you purchase that file, it already has decal zip file that comes with it. So if you have a printer and you're able to print off your own decals, he's he's actually got you decals with this uh, with this kit. So for ten dollars and fifty cents or ten dollars and fifty three cents is I think what it comes out to with tax, uh, you're getting a 1977 Pontiac uh, Can Am uh, that has its decals with it. So it's a great way to get it. And like I said, you know, $16.55 worth of resin. That's going to get you quite a few, uh, quite, a um, quite a bit of resin, quite a bit of prints. I'm usually able to print about four cars completely out of one bottle. So um, doing pretty good on my resin usage. Um, again, I wanted to show you guys the topography in those hoods from printing flat. So you can see that that topography right there. There you go. You can see that topography in it. It easily sands out, but you know, around the hood edge, with you putting it at a 37% angle, it makes all the difference in the world. You know, no topography whatsoever. Nice soft hood. These have not been cured up yet. I haven't put them in my cure station. And again, I need to wash them a little bit better because you can see uh, all of that shininess. That is uh, resin that needs to be washed off of here. I also do a little bit different than a lot of people. Um, when it comes to washing your resin uh, off of your plates and off your bodies, I invested in some good old spray bottles. And that's got isopropyl alcohol in it. And I literally spray the plates down with it and let it sit. After it's even came out of the wash station, I spray it with these bottles and um, let it sit and evaporate off. And I end up with a lot cleaner product. Another thing I do with my bodies, and I will show you guys in another video. I literally take, after I've done my IPA wash, I've sprayed it and let it cure out. I take the body, before I cure it, I take it and I wash it with Dawn uh, dish soap. Just regular old Dawn dish soap. I put it on the body and I scrub it off. Uh, rub it around with my hand. I get it all uh, ni nice and uh, clean, rinse it off, and then I let that sit. Uh, let it dry, and I end up with a lot cleaner bodies. You don't have any extra uh, resin, you know, stickiness to them, that kind of stuff. Uh, another thing that I was telling you guys is I do uh, down the inside, you can actually see some of the 
uh, platforms that platform uh, pieces are sitting there where I do extra platforms all the way down the inside of my body lines because I don't want anything to cave in or get to the Z lines or the Z axis uh, shift lines that you typically see in printers that just don't have the quality of the uh, Saturn IV uh, Ultra. And another uh, thing that I wanted to bring to you guys tonight was, you know, there, there's a lot of expense in buying a new printer. You know, it's not only for you in the hobby. That's the thing that I, I really wanted to touch on tonight is this thing has been uh, an absolute, uh, I mean, the entire family uses it. I print uh, stuff from my daughter, who is the uh, Seattle Stitcher on YouTube. She does uh, uh, knitting and uh, crocheting and, and stuff of needle points and stuff like that. And uh, I, I print out, um, I think they're called floss drops and uh, a few other things for her. I've done um, uh, like little figurines for my uh, my granddaughter. Uh, I've done, uh, here's, here's some of the uh, the the stuff that I've done and I'm going to show you right on the screen. So I've printed off all of these things that are on here so that you can see I've done a base, I've done a Hello Kitty, I've done a kitty skeleton, I've done a really cool sugar skull and uh, my wife painted that up. I did an iPad holder, um, there's cross stitch hoops, you know, of course my my stuff for my my wheels and tacks and, and you name it for the model industry. But I mean, uh, the stuff is just endless. You know, there's even a little pumpkin that I printed up, um, you know, power booster. I mean, there's, it's not just for you guys. Um, that's, the entire family can get in on this when it comes to the, uh, the 3D printing game. There is endless possibilities. Uh, if you can think it, you can pretty much print it. And, uh, you know, the, the printer is an absolute awesome tool. You know, there's a, a really cool spiral base that I printed out and uh, did for my wife. Um, I just, there's so many uses to a 3D printer, it's not funny, and it's not just your models. So keep that in mind when you're you're going and uh, pitching the sale to your, your significant other that, uh, hey, you know, there's, there's a lot of other uses to it besides just model building. You know, uh, models are a great thing on there, and, and I'm not going to lie, I mean, these are absolutely awesome. Andre did an awesome job on these files. Uh, another one, he knocked it out of the park. His engine uh, stuff is unbelievable. As you can see, the AC pump um, and condenser are just terrific. The, the detail that he did under the hood on this one is, is phenomenal. So hats off to him again. I'm going to print everything out on this kit and do another video on just this kit, showing you exactly what came with it. And uh, I know that uh, James Tester has done one over at the Scale Model Experiment. By all means, I'm going to link him his video into uh, the description box below. Go check that video out. He did a great job on showing uh, uh, what, what it is and how it is and, and uh, the problems that he had with the, his printer or his file that he printed out. I don't typically have any uh, issues with uh, Andre's files, period. Uh, his stuff is done really well. It's usually something that I've done if I've got a problem. It's, it's something that I've done personally that's, that's wrong. So, um, you know, he's, he's, done, he's done his job. It's just uh, we do ours to, to make sure that we, we are able to print the quality that he produced. So with that being said, guys, I wanted to, uh, oh, God, yeah, um, Dave, uh, Dave Wood, Woody uh, over there at uh, Woody Scale Miles, he sent me a Christmas card today, and uh, I, I just got that in, so... I wanted to say thank you, Dave. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, that meant a lot to, to me to, to get a Christmas card. Uh, uh, again, I appreciate it. I did not send out Christmas cards this year. Uh, I've been just butt-kicking busy with the uh, dealership as well as uh, having the, the, uh, the, the sales shack coming back online and uh, trying to get some things uh, printed up for some people as well as doing some... Uh, Random act of kindness prints where uh, I'm I'm literally printing up models and sending them to random people in just uh, my way of giving back to the community and saying, hey, you know, hope you enjoy this build. Uh, 
you know, uh, do a video as you're building it uh, would be much appreciated. And, you know, it's just, just my way of thanking you guys for the community and, and the continuing to grow this community. But uh, again, tonight's um, video kind of focused on a couple of the questions that keep popping up. So again, ABS Lite 3.0 is my go-to. This is how it comes from Amazon. I love this stuff. Uh, Elegoo is uh, the, the maker of it. I get a thousand gram ABS light. You can get it in, uh, um, I think it's a 5,000 and a lot bigger, but it's uh, almost twice the cost of the 1,000. No, it's actually a little bit more than twice the cost. That's why I do the 1,000 because it's cheaper. You can also see that it has an expiration date on your, your uh, resin. So, you know, it, it expires the 23rd of September, 2026. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go uh, work on my Grabber Maverick. That's also one of Andre's files. And I've got this in Steinal Res Black. Uh, we've got it sanded down twice and just did a, another coat of Steinal Res Black on it. So I can get some uh, true color over it. I uh, just wanted to guys show you that one as well. I will... Uh, get to work here and go go play with some models but i wanted to get bring you guys a quick video on what i use and uh that i truly love this stuff the abs like po photopolymer resin from elegoo is is my favorite hands down i've tried several different brands i've done a lot of the uh wash stuff the where, where it's uh you're able to use just water to, to wash it and i never have had luck with that stuff it, it's brittle it uh, just doesn't print like the ABS like. The ABS like, in my opinion, is the best on the market. And I really like their stuff. So I will continue trying to uh, produce uh, my prints with that. And uh, I wanted to show you guys those, the other uses for your printer. I mean, uh, got grandkids or little ones, or I uh, want to have some Halloween decorations, or, you know, make a an iPad stand, or. Uh, a vase for the wife or, you know, something else in another hobby, you know, it's available to you. Uh, 3D Colts has a ton of files that you can download. I mean, you can make earrings. You can do, I mean, there's so many things that you can do on it. It's just endless. So keep that in mind when you're, you're thinking about purchasing a printer, a 3D resin printer, and uh, know that there is a lot more uses for it than just the models. So that's a, an, an easy, easy pitch to the significant other is, you know, look at all the other stuff that we can do with this. You know, it's it's 410 bucks delivered to your door. Uh, the Saturn Elegoo uh, Ultra 4 is, uh, is Elegoo Saturn 4 Ultra is what it's called. Uh, I, I, I love that machine. It was plug and play. I never went through and set anything up, calibrated anything. It's self-calibrated. It's self-leveled. I poured resin in the machine. I made sure everything was tightened down, powered on, and I was printing within about 15 minutes. So um, my Saturn III, an entirely different story. I mean, that thing was uh, uh, setting it up, uh, calibrating it, setting the Z-plate, leveling it, and all that kind of good stuff. And it was more of a pain in the butt. But once you're through that process, it's not too bad, and you can set one up pretty quick. My Saturn III Ultra 12K printer, uh, great printer, uh, no issues with that thing. It's just slow compared to the Saturn IV. The Saturn IV just kicks butt when it comes uh, to print times. It it cuts it. Uh, I would say at least a quarter, if not a half, it cuts your your print time in, in about a half. So uh, again, guys, if you're looking at uh, new printers, check out Elegoo. Uh, don't go through Amazon to get your um, your Elegoo printer. And uh, the reason why is Elegoo gives you free um, free shipping as well as you have. I know you get your warranty from from Amazon, but they have the, the factory warranty. You know, they document when you bought it and you, you know, it's just a lot easier. If you have any issues down the road, it's easier to track. Uh, I just I like dealing with Elegoo direct. Uh, I love Amazon and I buy just about everything through Amazon. But Amazon is more expensive when it comes to these printers. Uh, so keep that in mind going to the them directly and don't forget when you're looking at the files to purchase compare CG Trader to Colts. One 
site will have a sale going on while the other one doesn't. And they flip-flop every two weeks. So yeah, this week it's Colts that has the uh, the prints on sale for $10 and I think 53 cents is what I paid for the Can-Am. And uh, Andre offered to um, give me the, the Can-Am files. He's offered to give me several files. I just don't believe in accepting that from him because he's worked hard to make these files and I want to make sure that he's making money as well. And if I'm able to get him one extra sale off of that, you know, so be it. That's just the way that I believe. I believe in supporting the small businesses and uh, not just taking stuff for granted and uh, doing a review on it for him. I have no problem doing a review on it after I've paid for the file. I just, I don't want to take advantage of uh, Andre that way. So I'm going to add his, uh, his links to the cults as well as to CG Trader. I'm going to put up... Uh, uh, James Tester's um, video for the Can-Am on here so you guys can go watch that video because he does a really good job with his uh, his prints and, and he also goes through and explains a lot. James is a really nice guy, uh, so give him a, a, some love over there. And uh, appreciate you guys going over and checking out the uh, Scaled Innovations. Um, like I said, he was a newer channel just starting out and uh, thanks for showing him some love, guys. And uh, if I don't get back on here before Christmas, I know I will, but um, if I don't, uh, and you don't watch one of the videos, uh, I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. I, I hope that you all have a blessed Christmas and, uh, uh, God bless all of you for, for all the support this year. I appreciate each of you all and all you guys that comment, you know, just stay involved with this uh, community. I really appreciate it, everything that you guys do. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go back to building some models. God bless, happy modeling, and we will see you on the next one. And don't forget, guys, the Model Hut Sale Shack is back up and running. And you can reach the Model Hut at the Model Hut Sale Shack dot net or dot com. Either one will take you to the same place. I'm still adding inventory almost nightly. Uh, a lot of different stuff on there from uh, BSA glue, uh, Bob Smith Industries glues, to paints, to glues, to aftermarket accessories, you name it. I'm getting it listed on there so you guys can enjoy the uh, one-stop shop. God bless. Happy modeling, guys.